Hey guys, Shelby here with George Moore Chevrolet and today we are at K9 for Warriors facility right here in Ponte Vedra. We've just been given an amazing tour of the facility and we are so excited to share with you what they've got going on. So I'm Greg, I'm with K9 for Warriors, I'm a director here and uh, affiliated with the Service Dog Program and the Station Dog Program. Great, and why don't you tell us a little bit about um, what the two of those are and exactly um, what you do. Sure, perfect. So the, our Sabre Service Dog Program is the nation's largest provider of service dogs to disabled veterans uh, from any era. It's no longer just post 9 11. It is, you know, Vietnam era, Korea era. If you qualify for our program, we're going to try to help you out. Uh, right. At one point, it was just post 9 11 veterans, and we expanded from that because there's more people to need help. Uh, those dogs are for post traumatic stress disorder, traumatic brain injury, or military sexual trauma. And we just brought in a class of 13 warriors this week. Um, all right, great. So, yeah, let's talk about you. And you obviously just gave us this great tour. One of the things, you know, I noticed that you said on the tour was that you guys pull from shelters and use rescue dogs in your program. I guess, one, how unique is that? And then two, um, how are you able to manage that and make that happen? So, you know, it's it's a lot like a helicopter. There's a lot of parts that all have to come, like, into alignment for the whole thing to work together as one. Um, so we are the nation's largest provider of service dogs to disabled veterans. And a part of that is because we pull from shelters and rescues. So um, we're able to source these dogs. We have a unique temperament test. We have a, a highly trained team that goes out and cures the dogs. They give them the test uh, that we, we've designed over the years. They, they pass it, they bring them into our kennels. They kind of guide the dog through the, the next stages of the medical clearance and all that stuff. Uh, and then they come to the training pipeline. From all that, it turns that dog into a, a service dog in training. And the minute you pair it with a warrior that is disabled, it becomes an actual service dog. That's awesome. And um, tell us a little bit more too about, you know, like coming up to this facility, I had no idea that it was for, for humans too. You know, obviously you train them with the dogs, but you guys have space for warriors to stay. Kind of talk a little bit about that and the options that you have for veterans to come. With. Sure. So our program is a three-week program. It's 21 days long from reception to dismissal. Uh, you arrive on a Sunday, uh, and then we ask a series of questions to uh, kind of help us pair you with the dog. And, and that's a byproduct of the relationship we've dealt with, or we've built with the warrior, uh, built up to them coming to class. So if there's about a year and a half wait, uh, and then they, while they're waiting, we talk to them every month, usually twice a month in an email or a phone call and they're asking plenty of questions and we collate all that information. And we start to kind of really build a pairing list for them. And then when they show up, that Sunday we ask the final series of questions and it solidifies our pairing. But when they're here Sunday, we kind of figure that final bit out. And then Monday we pair them with the dog that we've identified that's best fit for them. And also that that person might be the best fit for that dog. So it's a symbiotic relationship. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit more about what you guys have going on for Christmas. I, I saw you have some trees back there that people can sponsor. Give us some information. So Canines Christmas, and you see the tree that's kind of over our shoulder. And so it's organizations where people can sponsor these trees. And basically you sponsor the tree and you come and you decorate it with all your your swag. So you can you can throw up a specific Grinch decoration on it or whatever you want it. Uh, and, and that is like your tree for the season. And then there's an open house and you get to come see the whole campus and meet some of the dogs and some of the trainers. I mean, it's really cool. 